Now see applications of first law of thermodynamics. Whatever we have studied till now, just I am going to use first law of thermodynamics here. You know the first law of thermodynamics is here delta Q is equal to delta U plus delta W. So, when the heat delta Q is given to the system, it is used in the two parts. One is to increase the internal energy by delta U and one is doing work that is delta W. Suppose you are taking first one is isothermal process. So, in isothermal process, what happened? You can write here delta Q is equal to delta U plus delta W, but here delta T is equal to 0 means that is delta U is equal to 0. So, in isothermal process, temperature remains constant. So, there is no change in internal energy. So, it means delta Q is equal to delta W. So, whatever the heat is supplied here in this case that is used to that is spent in doing work. Suppose you are taking adiabatic process. So, in adiabatic process what happen? You know delta Q is equal to delta U plus delta W and in adiabatic process delta Q is equal to 0. So, you can write here delta U is equal to minus delta W. So, that is in case of the adiabatic process here. So, third one is here isochoric process isochoric process means volume remains constant that means dv is equal to 0 here delta w is equal to 0. It means you will be getting delta q is equal to delta u. So, whatever the heat is supplied in this process that is used to increase the internal energy of the system. Now, the fourth one is here the cyclic process. See here in cyclic process what happened actually? So, there are the many changes in the system, but ultimately the system comes back or attains original parameters. So, now in the cyclic process actually delta u is equal to 0, because this is actually path it depends on only initial and final position or initial state and final state. It does it is independent of the path. So, in the cyclic process delta u is equal to 0 that means change in internal energy is 0. So, we can write here delta Q is equal to delta W. It means whatever the heat is supplied or you can say whatever the work is done in this process that is equal to the heat supplied to the system. 